Hi, good morning class. My name is Anghav and my student ID is 104045. Today I am uh, giving a presentation as, uh, in a Orange Night Club Technology Innovation uh, Introduction. Orange Night Club is a popular nightclub in Auckland city. This, uh, the location of the Orange Night Club is Khyber Pass Road. They call it K Road as well. They are the, the service, uh, the service entertainment, the, you can come with your family, with a partner, or with your friends as well. You can spend your quality time over here. The Orange Night Club have a, a Facebook page as well. Personal analyzing, problem identification, uh, political, economic, and social. First, in a pol political, the COVID pandemic caused a lockdown uh, restrictions. People couldn't visit a nightclub. When they start visiting, they need a vaccine pass because of a COVID rules. Uh, economic, uh, the effect on a increase to 4.9% in 2021, increase in the price of raw materials, orange budget increase due to this period, uh, price of the service increase as well. In the social, New Zealand enjoy uh, New Zealand enjoy dancing and drinking. Uh, that, uh, take a, drink a tasty wines, fine beers. Orange, uh, orange need to improve quality and services and satisfy this customer as well. Pastel analyzing. There are, I've mentioned a three step technolo technology, legal, and environmental. In technology, uh, new technology we uh, bring a, used to uh, for a customers, like uh, we bring a chillers, we bring a new tabs. Uh, to, to the, uh, like uh, for a website to uh, uh, doing a marketing and we have a staff to uh, basically staff who do the, this kind of work they call a promoters they posting every weekend uh, uh, new stuff on a uh, social media to promote the nightclub uh, legal sale and supply of alcohol act 2012 government sales and supply of alcohol timing like uh, in each and uh, in each and every area they have some timings but right now in Auckland in city they have a till to 4 a.m till the morning only on weekends we can serve alcohol on weekdays we can serve alcohol till to 2 a.m and uh, uh, environmental to uh, protect the environmental environment uh, uh, disposing a waste properly by following a guidelines in a uh, after COVID, the waste management is making a new guidelines with the council that we can't use a plastic bag 1.2 percent one because they are really harmful for the environment. So they specifically provide a new garbage bags to a, all the restaurant and clubs to dispose of the waste. Problem identified. Pastel analyzing is a important on a threat and organization threats. The legal environment creating human risk, health and safety of employees, technologies used to work uh, <coughs> competitors for increased brand awareness, like a threat like a, we have a, in, a, in nightclubs, uh, first of all, we need to make sure we have a health and, health and safety, we are following health and safety rules, like we are providing a staff proper breaks, we are providing a staff a proper uh, refreshments like tea, coffee and other stuff and we need to provide over there if, if by chance on a workplace the, any staff got a cut and a, any injury, small injury so we need to provide a medicaid over there uh, so that kind of things are uh, coming in a health and safety opportunities a service uh, of more customer at, at a time new application to meet the needs of a customer uh, a large number of ready to go drinks wines, beer and alcohol specifically in the nightclubs the hardest part is ordering so right now the new technology come they call it tele they make uh, making a one new app so the people can order from his phone to a, the bar so the bartender can make it easily and the second main problem is chiller the, in Chile, basically the people are drinking in a clubs, ready to go drinks. They call RDT as well, like uh, 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 not uh, uh, RDT drinks. 
wines or beers. So in refrigerators, uh, they, are not, they are not that much big. They are like, uh, at one time they can contain a two to 300 drinks at one time. So every time we need to fill the chillers, so chillers are that much strong, so they can uh, uh, chill the drinks really fast. Innovation solution. Uh, opportunities, new applicants to be chill and display the ready to go drinks and refreshments. Vendor, uh, they call vendors, uh, refrigerators, limited Auckland. Type of innovation. Uh, type of innovation is first technology innovation, new technology uh, using a chillers. Second, incremental, uh, not, not a breakthrough in a market, small scaling employment, or, uh, only chiller is purchased. And third one is based on a newest of technology and its effect, impact on the market. Uh, like in a chiller, we need to check in a uh, what kind of technology coming in a market. We check the chillers, what kind of chiller are coming in a market. We need to locate it like small scale or big scale. But, but, uh, what kind of chiller we need, like that thing. We need to, uh, on a based of a needs. Business knowledge uh, application to uh, innovation activities. Organization, accounting, sales and marketing, human resource, risk management. First of all, organization. Manager will uh, design, to design the process, select the purchasing, testing, ch uh, chair at the orange, orange club, uh, budget, sa uh, salaries, price of chiller, delivery cost, insurance. Sales and marketing. Manager will uh, uh, conduct a market re uh, research to find large technology chillers within a budget. Human resource. Manager skills and knowledge. They need to be checked on online, online research, chiller, chiller price, technology. Risk management. Uh, likelihood. Uh, um, risk management. Identify risk. Asset risk. Changes, type of changes, technology change. Uh, chill are made within a, a new technology to chill the drinks and refreshments in less time. Impact on business, uh, storage, store, store large number of bottles, serve, serve to the customer right way, more customer can be uh, attended in less time, the bar, bartender uh, and waiting staff work will be get easier. Like that kind of change is really need in a nightclub because if we have a good kind of chillers and they chill the drinks really fast so we can serve the customer easily. The, our staff gonna be a, uh, serve easily to a customer and the waiting time gonna be a less. Culture of innovation. Strategies to create a culture of innovation uh, Ethic, social, culture, and professional. First of all, creating a communication vision of a change. John Cortez, eight step modules. Leader should be communicating strategy vision to a change. Clear and understandable language. Vision will be direct staff collection. Foresting a, a creative environment. Friendly and inclusive workplace for all. Waiting for staff, chef, cleaning chef, staff. Manager, equal opportunities to everyone to give ideas, rewards. Again, got an eight-step model. Reward system in a effective stage, a strategy. Praising and, uh, praising and appreciation after a short win and short uh, should be a given. Motivation rewards like bonus, increments, uh, gift cards and food cards as well. Motivation. First of all, strategy. How to boost that? Uh, strategy can be uh, motivate the staff and my, uh, me. Vision. Staff motivation. Vision will be a, a like, uh, uh, they can give a uh, motivate to a staff for a small wins. They uh, give a 
motivation to uh, the staff if they, if they reach the target they need to be given a shot for it like as a motivation they need to be give something so the staff can be motivated and they can do uh, right right work environmental staff motivation satisfaction of a base need of staff like clean safe and hygienic environment social need like belonging self motivation need when the staff gives a good performance and behavior well i will give a get motivate to is such that prof, uh, professions rewards st uh, like if staff can reach the targets and they can do give a good services like same we need to give a gift card we need to motivate by like small gifts like just appreciate so the staff can be motivated easily and they can go, work, uh, work like really good internal stakeholders that's the, uh, uh, the uh, my email with the stakeholder and the uh, owner owner of a nightclub communicate through a email regarding a, a idea problem innovation idea that can be solve the problem external stakeholder vendor name like uh, a refrigerator hire a service lpd medium of a, uh, communication communication like an email reply for email like that's the mail at the refrigerator dot co dot nz personal uh, vision that's the vision the I, I already display over here the base address what's the email id so conclusion all in nightclub face a hard time due to a covert pandemic uh, opportunities to better communication adopting a technology innovation children with the latest technology can be used cool large number of drinks and activities uh, sustainable to change and increase the, uh, the culture of innovation use a fair and transport transparent reward system good environment communicate about new vision staff and the manager should be stay motivated that's my conclusion and i provide the ref reference from here thank you can you please uh, tell me how can you uh, motivate your staff i can motivate my staff on a small basis if i give a target like normal target to give a one staff uh, you have target to sell a 2k 2k minimum minimum uh, like your budget is 2k not a budget your target is 2k if they achieve this target so i can motivate the staff like call him give him a shot and drink with them so they can motivate easily i just appreciate them so they can drink uh, so they can serve properly to a customer they can work properly that kind of motivation can help every day <laughs> or if if at the end of a week uh, we serve him like go for a dinner we go for a lunch with the staff so they can motivate motivate over there you are doing really well so that kind of motivation i'm giving to my staff uh, uh, what's the human resources department responsibilities for the during the change? Human resources. Yeah. The human human resources like uh, we are going to uh, for any store kind in a part no, they are a uh, uh, southern cross or a south. Uh, Hospital, Southern Hospitality, yeah. they are doing that kind of stuff. They have uh, some promoters over there, so we can talk with them, so we can make a deals with them. We can buy one fridge or we can just give you, we promote your thing on our club. So that kind of human resource work, so we got some discount, so we can buy our chiller in, a, in our budget. So that's called a human resource. Like how many of customers you are serving at the moment for COVID pandemics? Like you know, you told like there are some regulations. So how many customers are you? According to a rule, right now there are a, some uh, amount like every club have not a same limit. Every club have a different limits. Like on a license in our club, 
we have a 250 people on one time, on normal time, not in a COVID pandemic. And we got a 120 people allowed in our club at one time. We can serve 120 people. If that a public party, not a uh, public party, that's a private party, so we have allowed 150. So we need to check uh, his uh, passes, the vaccine passes. If they have no vaccine passes, also we can't. Yeah. So vaccines like 300 drinks for uh, the bachelor. Yeah. For the 180 customer, makes sense. Yeah. Now, what type of change uh, is exactly your innovative uh, idea? I couldn't see the change. Change is because we have a old refrigerators, so we change the refrigerators. So easy for staff, easy for customer to no, serve. Like, what is the innovative idea? Ideal change. Yeah, so that's like, the idea. For is it the sustaining change or radical change? No, that's the radical change. Radical. Okay. Thanks. Okay, uh, thank you, Anmol. Just um, I have some uh, questions to ask to clarify a few areas. Just first, I'll start from the stakeholder engagement. It seems that you have tried to engage with the internal stakeholders. Can you give me an idea with whom you have communicated? Because in the evidence, I cannot find the details. Uh, who has communicated with you? Under which role or the capacity? Can you give me a brief? Just a description about your engagement. Okay, my question is tell me with whom you have communicated uh, in terms of the internal stakeholder engagement. Because just in the given evidence, I cannot see. The person who has replied. Oh, that's to the CEO, like the director of the company. The director of the company, because just that is a part of the email only. It just seems oh. like thanks after that, it doesn't mention the name or the designation, nothing I can see. Right? Just can you give me a brief introduction how you have communicated, what the feedback you have received? Just give me a brief description about your engagement. On, I'll normally I just email to her. And she replies me back when I send I send my email. That's my every uh, what's the solution, the, what kind of problem is going on in right now in a club. So she's a CEO in the CEO of a like means director of a club. Would you mind to tell the name of the? Uh, Beverly for Okay. And she's uh, uh, living in a Mount Eden, and she tells me on she calls me and tells me about everything. What that's the right way of now. Or like what kind of chiller sh she is using right now. So after that, I start searching and find a, find a vendor from a parallel Southern Cross and Southern Cross and Southern uh, Hospitality. There are two companies, but same same com uh, same brand, but two different names. Uh, so she tell me about where from we can buy. So that kind of, like that's a nice internal stakeholder. My question that I received an answer that you have communicated with the CEO. Can you please go back to the external stakeholder engagement? Uh, just I cannot see any evidence, any emails or any sort of uh, just feedback that you have received. Uh, just uh, tell me what's, uh, what about this thing. Uh, for the vendor? No, I'm not asking about the vendor. Just the feedback you have received from any kind of an external stakeholder. Or from me? Just the, yes, that is if you have communicated with the vendor the, as a supplier, just the, what type of feedback you have received, where's your evidence? I have evidence. Mm -hmm. I think I didn't put it in this sign mm -hmm. But I have email from them. I can show you after that if you want. Mm -hmm. No, I. this is a part of your assignment. This is what we are the evidence are asking and you are supposed to submit the evidence on your presentation. Just um, if you have that, yeah, I have. you can show us at this stage, that would be great. Okay, just, is there any possibility for you, just there's no way to put that down to the board, right?
or logging on my network. Okay, just we'll leave it at this stage because we have to save the time. Yeah. Uh, you can just show me the evidence later. But just at this stage, if you can verbally explain me what yes. is the engagement, how you have communicated, what the feedback you have received. Please do it in verbally at this stage, please. Just a moment, I'll be just a moment, I can show you. So uh, that's the I send this email like to external stakeholder email. I'm changing in a, uh, in club. I'm changing it chillers for drinks to to go really fast, and we can sell uh, drinks to our customer like as soon as possible. The chill drinks because RDTs are like in a uh, in a cold like they, we can't drink RDTs as they like not a normal temperature, not even hot. So I explained him like same what I'm changing in a club for our staff and for the customer, and he replied me back that's a really good idea and it's working. Give me a second. Who you are mean by the P? Is that the what type of a stakeholder? Which stakeholder you were talking about? My customer. A customer. Yeah. Okay. Right. Customer, like regular customer. Mm -hmm. So that and he replies me back that's a good idea. And that's really uh, useful for us to make it drinks chill uh, and easy for start to serve, and customer will have key as well. That kind of reply I got back from him. Okay, just uh, you were supposed to show us the external stakeholder feedback on this one here, because that's where the marks will be allocated. Just uh, this information is not good enough for the external stakeholder uh, feedback to be. Just to receive your marks. And the other side, just there are some areas it was not very clear to me, want to get some clarification. If you can go back to the slide number three, I guess, just that the problem where you will discuss the, the problem or the issue for this innovation where you have, okay, the problem identified. Just I could see the, uh, just maybe the threats and opportunities here. Can you give me a very specific idea what is the exact problem this organization is facing according to your analysis? Uh, for threats? No, I'm not asking the threats. Just that there are a couple of areas. I'm asking a specific problem. What is the specific problem the organization is facing based on your analysis? Yeah, after the uh, COVID level 4 and after three, in level 3.1, our clubs are reopened. And the government gave us uh, like 25 new checklists. Like the checklist start, uh, start, uh, start health and safety, customer health and safety, uh, dispose of things, they banned some kind of plastic. So that kind of threats we got in. Uh, he like, not, I can tell you like more. Uh, we can't serve a uh, drinks like, uh, first we serve a one, two drinks to a one person after the COVID, we got a one drink on one person. So that's bad for us and bad for customer as well. So at one time, you're serving a two drinks and customer can take a two drinks at one time. They're not coming back and take it back. So after that, the customer gonna be angry. That kind of threat we have, any kind of issue we have right now, that kind of problems. So after a COVID uh, thing, like after 3.1, level 3.1, that checklist is going to be off again and they're going to become back to normal. So because two drinks, they're going to uh, off council thing. If we, the customer buy two drinks, they're going to be shared with someone or they can put somewhere and some kind of bacteria are going inside. So the drink is going to be a harmful for a customer. And like uh, at one time we got a 10 customer, they ordered 20 drinks. We said, ah, we can serve only 10 drinks at one time one person got one drink or they are angry and after uh, 10 minutes they come back again for 10 more drinks and same time the other group, uh, group of people are coming at same time they are bringing the same 10 drinks so it's really hard for your staff as well 
to make a two orders at one time, big orders at one time. So that kind of threats we have right now in a COVID pandemic. This is not what I have asked for. Just there's a purpose for this presentation, right? Just that we were advised you to just to identify one specific problem. Just based on that one problem, you are just suggesting your innovative idea. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Just for the, to suggest your innovative idea, what was that specific problem in your identification? There are a couple of areas. That's why. I'm asking what is the main problem you have recognized and based on that you have provided the innovative suggestion. Yeah, just what is that problem? Just that it's not clearly mentioned. Oh, that's the chiller technology because the chiller technology are changing. And that's what I'm asking. You were supposed to it's not many things to be go through. You have done the analysis, you could find many problems, but you are specified into one particular problem. So what is that? You were supposed to give us the information on that problem only. The chiller. Tell, just talk about that now. The chiller. Yes, please. Yes. What, what, what's the chiller? Why the problem? How, it, how you have recognized what or how it is going to impact to the organization? Give us those information. The first, uh, prior to 2020, 20, the chillers are coming with the gas chillers. So now after 2020, the technology is going to be changed. The gas chiller is going to be a finish. They, uh, they make it a normal electric chiller. They're gonna be fast. They can't use a gas. They can't gonna be dry. If the gas chiller gonna be dry, they can't work properly. If, uh, the, in new technology, uh, no gas. They disappear the gas and they just straight to a with the electricity. And they're gonna be able to drink. Drink gonna be more fast. Cold uh, chiller drink really fast. They have. Uh, and the old chillers, they have stack racks. Means stack rack means the chip ones. Uh, if the red gonna be heavy from one side, they fall down. In this one, they don't have any stack racks. They are uh, fixed racks. So that kind of that new technology coming in a chillers. So that's why we need to change the chillers. So that's why in this presentation, I'm changing the chillers and explaining about why I'm changing the chillers, for who I'm changing the chillers, like for a staff, for a customer, for easy for both of them. In your presentation, I couldn't find any place you have mentioned about this. Can you show me anywhere that you have mentioned about the problem of the chair? Uh, I'm just uh, putting a how when I'm changing a chillers. It's so not for this, that is your solution to change the chiller. That yeah. is your solution. Is that the, for the solution to be fine, is there should be a problem. I'm asking the problem where have you. Just mention this problem anywhere in this presentation. No, I'm, no, I'm, no. Not, I'm just putting a to go chill really fast and easier for stuff. I'm not putting a stack ones, okay. the gas so ones. That should be a logical order. Your audience need to listen to you. Just it was what is the problem? It was not clear. Then just whatever you are talking, it is not getting enough or just that is not worth. Right now, just being a bit clear, there's a, just a technological change in the chillers. Can you tell me, just a, within the organization you have identified, what type of chiller they have used, and you are recommending to change it, right? Just a, how you have recognized this problem? What the chiller they are using at this stage? Do they use any chillers? Okay. Do they use any chillers at this stage? Yes. What type of a chiller they are using? Uh, right now they're using a, a new chillers, uh, they call a V10 Pro, but first the old one, they are gas chillers, mm -hmm. so they are really bad if we leave it on, we didn't close at night time, so gas is going to explode and they froze all the things, so the like as a drinks, when we buy drinks, alcohol, so they send a voucher and stuff. So on that vouchers, we see the new chillers are coming in a market. So that's why we find a solution. However, because if the chiller gonna be leave it on at one night and next day we find uh, all the freezer gonna be a or freeze and ice everywhere inside the freezer. So we need to change it, change a gas cylinder again from inside. This it's is clear, right? Just that this is mainly, is that the chiller changed 
after your suggestion or before Pandit? No, no, after my suggestion. Your suggestion only, just the, your innovative suggestion through this uh, attempt, then only they have changed the change. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just uh, we'll go to the solution now. Can you please uh, go back to the solution slide? Right, just this is your innovative solution. Just uh, the content, it is not clearly giving me the suggestion. You are so mentioned as the opportunity. You were supposed to give us the clear innovative solution. Now it is clear on your explanation. You are suggesting to go through a, a, a new technology with a chiller. Just give us this, uh, is that the new chiller that you are suggesting? Yes. Uh, Tell me something about this, how this will be more better than the previous one. First of all, I'll tell you about the stick, uh, stacks. Mm -hmm. They have no stacks, they have proper racks, if you can see. So they have proper racks, proper locks. In the old one, they have no, not in any that kind of locks. They have stacks. We need to be fixed. If we fix at one time, we're going to fix at the same place. We can never change up and down in the old ones. Mm -hmm. And over. That's the all the machinery over here, all the generator and everything, uh, components and everything inside. Machinery is over here. Otherwise, in the old ones, from over here at that corner, at that corner, you see a black cylinders. So that's the basically the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's clear. This is what the attempt that we are seeking from you, but just the, the way what you have attempt was not given the clarity. So when you are doing a presentation to the audience, that needs to be a clear picture, right? Just that is now just with the specification. I can see that you have the knowledge. You know exactly what the requirement, but when you are putting that onto the wording, that was not clearly done, right? Uh, and the other thing is just I think that the question asked by Nishraj, just the, the type of change, because the type of change was not clearly mentioned. But the answer you have given is not that a good answer, uh, to be honest, right? But just that you have to uh, get a clear understanding what type of change is that, whether it is a radical change or an incremental change. You said that's a radical change. That couldn't be a radical change. That's an incremental change, right? Um, yeah, that is, that's all from my end. Now it's clear, but just you need to improve your presentation skills, you have to have a good rehearsal, and when you're putting the content onto the uh, presentation slides, that needs to be a clear cut information to go through. Thank you, uh, Thank you for your attempt, Anupam. Okay.